Cohen program was recorded at Aberdeen Group's annual Supply Chain Management Summit in San Francisco. I'm pleased to welcome Senior Editor of Supply Chain Brain, Bob Bowman. We don't hear a lot about the marketing supply chain, but it's an essential part of many corporate operations. So today, I'm going to talk to Mike Perez, Vice President of Marketing and Business Development with Envision, a division of North American Corporation. Mike, welcome to the program. Thanks, Bob. What is the marketing supply chain anyway? Most organizations tend to focus on the direct material supply chain as a primary source for cost savings and operational efficiencies. Very little attention is given to other supply chains that exist within organizations such as the marketing supply chain. The marketing supply chain is the people, it's the processes, it's the technologies that companies utilize to be able to source, manage, and fulfill their marketing materials like print, like promotional products, and point of sale, which are essential to a company's ability to operate and grow. So it's something that companies do as a, as a natural course, but they might not think of it in that term. I mean, you don't always hear the term marketing supply chain used within companies. It's there, but it's not defined as such in many companies. You're correct, Bob. Every company, regardless of what you sell and the products that you sell in the marketplace, you have a, you have a marketing supply chain. So why is it so important? The marketing supply chain is important because ultimately it is the processes that support getting the marketing content out into the marketplace. And as a marketer, it's key to get your products and your marketing materials out in the marketplace faster than your competition. But chief marketing officers, chief supply chain officers, are they starting to pay some attention to this? And if so, how are they doing it and why? Absolutely, Bob. Chief marketing officers right now are being motivated to take costs out of their organization and contribute more to the bottom line. Over the last couple of years, their marketing budgets have been dramatically impacted and reduced. Their staff has been reduced. They're doing the same amount of projects with less people. So they're extremely motivated to take costs out of the organization. I imagine in most cases, though, that's a very simple dictate from the top, saying cut your budget for this by X percent. Uh, not a very subtle way to do it. Um, is there a way to, do, to focus on it that's more than just cost cutting? Most definitely. Um, in addition to cost savings, which are, which are key in these economic times, organizations are looking to be more operational efficient, right? As a marketer, you spend less time focusing on the operations of the business and you should be spending more time focused on demand creation and lead generation for your business. So most definitely, not, not in, addition to, in addition to cost savings, organizations are realizing uh, improved operational efficiencies and speed to market. Well, let's drill down a little. Where are they finding those opportunities within the marketing supply chain? Can you talk about some specific examples or some areas that are, that are uh, proving very fruitful? Uh, most definitely. One of the key areas is obsolescence. The national average for obsolescence of material is over 20%. So every dollar that a marketer is investing in product material, like a printed brochure or a shirt, a hat, a mug, a t-shirt, a pen, 20% of it's being thrown away. And the reason for that is poor demand planning upstream relative to the quantities that you need to be able to support the downstream demand. Mm -hmm. Is that worse than before? I mean, uh, did it used to be that these materials lasted longer? Has that always just been endemic to the, to the situation? Well, I think it's been endemic to the situation, but I think it's been compounded by the fact that technology is playing a key role. Before, there was really no options. Now, today, there's options with, with print-on-demand technologies and variable print technologies. So people are, are printing less of particular products because they don't want it to risk the downstream cost of ob obsolescence. Mm -hmm. But I'm wondering also, in a, in a poor economy, companies are constantly changing directions in terms of their marketing focus, which means the marketing collateral and all the material in the supply chain has to change, too. Most definitely. Happening more now? Happening faster because of a poor economy? Have you seen that? I see, I see more people shifting to more of a variable print strategy. They're printing less and they're doing them online, on demand, in a variable format so that they don't have to print massive quantities of product and stick it on a shelf and pay storage and distribution costs. They're printing less of them going to a variable environment and they're being more targeted with their message which is helping them lift their revenue of the organization. Of course, the other bad thing is to run out before Most definitely. <laughs> when, you, when you need it and then that can really hurt your marketing operations. So there's almost a, there's a forecasting element in, involved too, although I don't imagine it's quite the same as forecasting product demand. Is there something a company can do within that area in order to kind of work with upper tier management to correctly forecast the need for those materials within a span of time? Well, I think a couple things that they can do. One is consolidate. Consolidate the number of partners they're utilizing to produce these materials. And secondly is improve the management reporting 
so that you can make, make better upstream decisions relative to the quantities that you need because the data is now consolidated with a few suppliers. Mm -hmm. Make better decisions upstream relative to the forecasting that you need downstream. Okay, so a company wants to start paying attention to this in the way that we're talking about it. What's the first step they should take? I think the first step is to take a comprehensive evaluation of what your supply chain looks like for your marketing materials and go through a comprehensive assessment from design and agencies through sourcing, through uh, management, warehousing, fulfillment, and distribution, and assess all the economics that are involved and all the costs that exist within the supply chain and understand the entire processes. A recent study by the CMO Council suggested only 25% of companies have ever gone through a comprehensive assessment of their marketing supply chain. The companies that did, they realized over 30% cost savings. Why have they not done it up to now? I think the primary challenge is focus. The focus has really been around direct material supply chain and very little tension, as I mentioned earlier, has been given to the marketing supply chain, which is really around the indirect materials. Well, thank you very much, Mike. Thanks, Appreciate Bob. you being with us today. Mike Perez of Envision has talked to us about a new look at the concept of the marketing supply chain. Thank you very much for watching.